let us look at remainder theorem which is a very useful theorem uh, so the remainder theorem is uh, states like this that if p of x is a polynomial and that if you divide by say a different polynomial that is x minus a then the remainder remainder is nothing but p of a so let us take an example say p of x uh, so you have got uh, this is 2x cube let us take an example first let us not believe the remainder theorem I'll, ex I'll prove this in a different way not in a rigorous way uh, you, you got this polynomial that is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 10 you're dividing by x minus 3 so let us do, do the division by the you can do the long uh, synthetic division or the long division so let us do the long division uh, sorry the synthetic division so in synthetic division you simply write the coefficients of uh, the polynomial that you're dividing that is 2 negative 5 3 and negative 10 and here you write the first you set this equal to 0 so x minus 3 is equal to 0 so x is 3 so dividing by 3 so this is an algorithm uh, basically so what you do is you start with a 0 here and then you add these two numbers and then you multiply these two numbers so 3 times 2 is 6 then again you add these two numbers so 1 then you multiply 3 add which is 6 and multiply 18 so the remainder is 8 so yeah <coughs> uh, so yeah yeah this is the remainder without the remainder theorem and what does this mean I can say 2x will also check whether this synthetic, synthetic, synthetic division is right. So 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to, uh, you're dividing by x minus 3. So that should be x minus 3 times, these are the coefficient of the quotient, times 2x squared plus x plus 6 plus 8 so let us check whether this is right okay so uh, if you expand this so x times 2x squared is 2x cubed okay x times x is x squared and x times 6 is 6x six, now six. multiplying with negative 3 so this is negative 6x squared this is negative 3x negative 18 plus 8 so that simplifies to nothing but 2x cubed plus sorry minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 10. now this you may be wondering what am i doing why i'm doing this so yeah basically this is this is called the div this is the dividend this is the divisor this is the quotient and this is the remainder so when you're dividing this uh, this polynomial by this we know that the quotient is this and the remainder is 8 okay so can I write like this therefore so let me make up so can I say p of x your p of x is 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 3x minus 10 okay your divisor is x minus 3 so let us say that is your divisor so let us say that is d of x your quotient that is q of x is your quotient was 2x squared plus x plus 6 2x squared plus x plus 6 and your remainder so your remainder I'm writing R of X is 8 so there's a relation between P of X D of X Q of X and R of X so what is the relationship the relationship is P of X which is your dividend is always your divisor which is X 
so let me write like this so your that's always equal to your divisor which is d of x times what your quotient which is q of x plus the remainder which is r of x now of course r of x is a constant yeah so can we say p of x p of x in this case is equal to x minus 3 times your quotient I'm not writing q of x q of x plus r of x I'm writing as 8 so if I write the remainder theorem says when p of x is divided by x minus a the remainder is p of a so if that is true you're dividing by x minus 3 so if you find p of 3 if you find p of 3 what will happen here yeah. in place of x you have to put 3 so 3 minus 3 times q of x okay inst instead of 8 let me write r of x rx r of x plus r of x so what happens this becomes 0 therefore p of 3 is nothing but r of x which is nothing but 8 so your remainder is not is nothing but p of 3 okay so let me do one more example to illustrate uh, the long-winded way of explaining uh, what I was trying to explain so let us take one more example your p of x say is uh, x cube uh, minus 2x squared uh, minus 5x plus 6 okay your divisor so let me write d of x your d divisor is say x plus 2 so you will have a quotient okay so let me write q of x is a quotient and your r of x is a constant so i'm writing c so can i say the same thing p of x is your d of x which is x plus 2 times your q of x i don't know what is that q of x plus the remainder let us presume that this has a remainder so if you find p of negative 2 if you find p of negative 2 what will happen in place of x you have to put negative 2 so negative 2 plus 2 times q of x plus c so this becomes 0 so p of 2 p of negative 2 is your c which is your remainder so this is basically the remainder theorem remainder remainder okay so basically to find the remainder of uh, p of x when p of x is divided by a, x plus 2 is basically to find p of negative 2 so p of negative 2 is uh, let me put negative 2 cube minus 2 times negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 plus 6 okay so negative 2 cube is negative 8 this becomes 4 because negative 2 squared is 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 this is plus 10 plus 10 plus 6 okay so this is nothing but negative 16 plus 16 so the remainder is nothing but 0 so in other words what does this mean this implies x plus 2 is a factor this implies x plus 2 is a factor i'll explain this in my next video is a factor of p of x because the remainder is zero